Hi guys, welcome back to the EC Physio YouTube channel. This week's video will expand on a common dysfunctional pattern in a large portion of the population, especially those who are sedentary. Here is a case where a patient came in with recurrent left-sided low back pain. On gait assessment, he presented with a good overall pattern. His heels do come up early in the stance phase of the gait cycle. This shows that his ankles are limited into dorsiflexion. A part of ankle stiffness is genetic, and a part of it is a sedentary lifestyle. This is further highlighted in a deep squat test, where he needs to lift his heels to come down into a full squat. Keep in mind you need at least 10 degrees of ankle dorsiflexion to walk properly, and 25 degrees to run normally. Another great test for ankle stiffness is the Nita wall test. Check out my other video on that. The single leg balance and single knee bend is a great assessment tool since it provides a lot of insight into one's balance, strength, and function. On his left side, his balance is good, his trunk stays straight. With knee bends, his knee looks well controlled, but he does have some slight trunk lean to the left, but it's good overall. On his right side, his balance is decent, but watch when he starts to bend his right knee though. Look at how he leans his weight to the right. You can also see poor control of his right knee with increased valgus. This is further exacerbated by his ankle stiffness mentioned earlier. This type of movement pattern shows me that his gluteus medius on his right is either weak or not firing correctly to stabilize his pelvis and knee. It also shows me that his right hip adductors likely have increased tension and tone, further pulling his knee inwards. To summarize what we see with this assessment, he has dysfunction of his lateral sling. The muscles of the lateral sling include the hip abductors, adductors, and quadratus lumborum muscles. In other words, with this imbalance side to side, he will develop increased tightness on the left side of his low back to compensate for the right-sided hip weakness and dysfunction. This is likely one of the causes of his low back pain. To help correct this dysfunctional pattern, we need to look at some manual therapy to improve his ankle and hip mobility, some exercise prescription to improve mobility of his hips and low back, and as well as exercises to work on proprioception, strength, and endurance of his glutes muscles. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you would do for this patient. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. See you next week.